Hey everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So today I'll be reviewing, unboxing, and demoing a 3 watt laser from Sheds. So Sheds is a pretty new brand, but they have been really popular because of their affordable movers and lasers. And so they sent this one to me from their California warehouse and it arrived at my house in under a week. And 3 watts is pretty powerful, so I'm really excited to try this out and this should be like bright enough for bigger scale events. So you can pick this up on Shed's website for $287 for a one pack and you also have the option of a four pack. And there's a link in the description below and clicking on that link helps support this channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We have our user manual. We have our cords. And we have our laser. So this laser feels like pretty solid but it only weighs 7.8 pounds. So it's about nine and a half inches long, about eight inches wide and seven inches tall. And the bracket's about four inches from the top. So this laser is made of metal. This bracket is made of metal and it's very solid. On the front, it features the laser. So it has this safety door where you can like drop it when you're ready to use the laser and then raise it up and fasten it when you are done. Both sides have fans as well as these twisty knobs that hold the bracket. On the bottom it has four rubber feet, so you can set this down on some surface like a table. And on the back it has an on and off switch. It has a power con cable to power it. That's one of the cords we saw earlier. It has DMX in and out. It has ILDA in and out as well. It has a microphone for sound active mode presumably, as well as a knob which is presumably for like the sensitivity of sound active mode. It has our favorite four button LCD panel, but each of the buttons are on the sides and they are clearly labeled. And we also have some Sheds branding right there, as well as the serial number. So the scan angle of this light is 25 degrees. And like mentioned, it is three watt or 3000 milliwatts. It features RGB LEDs, which are rated to last 60,000 hours. It has a 12 and 25 DMX operation mode. It has a stepper motor and a mechanical dimmer. In addition to being able to operate this in DMX, you can control this in sound active mode and master slave mode. If you have multiple of these, like mentioned, you can get a four pack. And when you purchase any light from Sheds, they offer a one year warranty included with your purchase. They'll repair your light, send a new one, and they'll make sure that it's free of defects. And they can give you new accessories as well. And I was wondering what this cable was, but this looks like a really slim DMX cable. Cool. So before I turn this thing on and go over operation, just remember that lasers usually need a variance to operate within the United States. They're under the jurisdiction of the FDA. Basically, you need to fill out some bureaucratic paperwork before you can use any lasers in public if you're being paid for the performance. But if someone hypothetically forgets to fill out their paperwork, just remember that scanning the crowd is highly dangerous. It can blind people. Part of the bureaucratic paperwork is you have to prove that you're gonna shine this three meters over people's heads, like nine feet. And just make sure you don't scan this in people's faces or eyes, shine this really high up, and everybody can have a great time. All right, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Before you do, make sure your safety hatch is down so your laser is uncovered. Let's go ahead and plug the power con cable in, flip the on switch. I am going to prop this up a little bit for camera angle convenience. This screen times out pretty quickly, but it is on. By default, when you first boot it up, it is in DMX mode on channel one. So let's go enter the menu and look at the various modes of operation. So there's DMX, there's auto mode, there's sound active mode. There's some like tests that you can run, almost like a store demo mode, some settings, and also some advanced laser settings, which we're not gonna get too much into today. But these settings, I'm gonna change one setting. And just know that like enter and menu are like swapped sometimes. But light, I think is this backlight. So menu, so it's on for five seconds. I think that did it. All right, so this backlight is permanently on. So under settings and address, this is where you can set the DMX address to so click menu. You can change that. I'm just gonna keep it on channel one for this demo just to make it easier. There's something called like a beam saver. You can have a master slave mode. Channel is important. This determines like how many channels you have of DMX. I want 25 because the 25 channel mode lets you control a lot more. I feel like it's not worth it to even use DMX mode in 12 channel mode. So I'll click menu. Okay, it's set on 12 by default. So let's do 25. I'll go over that a little bit more in the DMX demo. So enters kind of like your menu escape key sometimes. Kind of weird. 
Yeah, laser settings, there's a bunch of like really advanced laser options, including like inverting the X and the Y, different color schemes, and we're not gonna get into that today. So for our purposes, yeah, let's just go into auto mode. There we go. So yeah, it's really bright. It has some really beautiful colors. And of course, each of these effects are gonna look a lot cooler with like some haze or some smoke. So it has all these really cool patterns and they'll all look really cool as beams in the air. So yeah, that's auto mode. They have like various banks, like they have some with like words and numbers and just some fun graphics. So let's go over DMX operation and I'm gonna use sound switch to control this. But you can use any DMX software or controller and you should be able to follow along. And remember how I said that there's like a 12 and 25 channel mode and the 25 channel mode really lets you have a lot more control. So I'm not even going to really go over 12 channel mode. So first to get started, we have to add our fixture in a sound switch. So you can go to the DMX map, you can type in sheds, then type in laser, and then you will find our three watt or 3000 milliwatt laser. So here's 25 channel mode. Let's just add one of them. Remember how we have it on channel one. So this is perfect. So in sound switch to control lasers, you have to use attribute cues, which is in this bottom left corner. Let's use custom Q1. Highlight your laser. These are our various parameters. There's pattern A and pattern B, which means we can do two patterns simultaneously. So this first parameter laser mode, this lets us turn the laser on, off, or engage sound or auto mode, but I just want this to be on. The value needs to be at least 42. There we go. The laser is on. Hoorah. It's so freaking bright, it's insane. It's lighting up like the entire garage so I can see. This is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do pattern A. So every 32 values is a unique pattern, so 32. So we'll just slowly increment with this slider. See some of the patterns available to us. Whoa, ballerina person. So depending on what you have chosen for pattern A, that will affect the options you have for parameter A2. Let's go back to some of these, yeah, two triangles. So let's see what happens when I increase this value. It has various different patterns for us, okay. All right, this next parameter is rotation, so we can rotate what we have here. We can do like a static rotate, a motion rotate and we can adjust the speed. Oh, pretty cool. That's kind of distracting, so I'm gonna turn it off and then we'll do our next parameter. So this does a horizontal flip. Okay, next we have vertical pattern flip. So again, we can do like a static adjustment so we can make these more flat, like they're rotating. Or we can have it be an animation with slow animations and fast animations. You can't really see that on the camera. Let me choose a different one that's a little more dramatic. There we go. You can definitely see those rotate. So horizontal move is our next parameter. Static positions for the lower numbers and then animations for the higher numbers. We can get really fast animations. Okay, same thing for like the vertical movement. Awesome, you know, this is not my favorite pattern either. Let's choose a different one. Eh, why not, that's fine. Okay, then pattern scale. So we can do like a static scaling, like we can make this thing smaller or bigger. Notice that provides like a tighter or bigger beam. And we could also have it animate like that. All right, and so that's scale. So now there's painting. So painting is basically like it draws your pattern you can choose like the speed. This is kind of a cool effect. It's kind of a complicated pattern. Let's choose a simpler one maybe. There we go. See a circle, it draws a circle, then it undraws a circle. And we can adjust the speed. Let's make this go all the way. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then we can adjust the scan. So notice that at zero, it's just these nice smooth lasers. Very cool. But when you do scan, that produces like some dots. So it's like more granular. And so that creates like a different type of beam. And I think that looks awesome, especially for like the line patterns. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep this scan parameter because I like that a whole lot more than like the smooth lines. So yeah, there's that smooth line, which is okay. But I think that's awesome. 
So you can choose the static color, like red, yellow, green. And then it can do different animations with like higher colors and it can like loop through them and have like multicolored as well. It can do like some chases, like a rainbow chase, that's pretty neat. And pattern A Maximus, as you choose the largest pattern when zooming from large to small. We saw some of these like transforming effects that like made the pattern zoom. So you can choose like how big you want it to be or how small you want it to be. But yeah, this is pretty large. I mean, this is a two car garage and I'm about 20, 25 feet away and it's spreading super far. So you might want to tighten it with that parameter. And then pattern B is basically all the same parameters as parameter A. So basically you have two patterns. You can control each of them individually. So you can do some like really cool effects. Inner circle, outer circle, and really you just have to play around with these parameters and find some sick patterns that you like and have fun with it. You can do all sorts of crazy animations. So that's basically what all the different parameters are and you can adjust those parameters with any DMX software. And if you use these in sound switch, usually your workflow is you wanna create like one animation per attribute queue. And then you wanna spread those attribute queues in your custom scripts as well as your auto loops. And you can like adjust the color to match like the color scheme of whichever auto loop you're using. And yeah, have fun, have some circles, have some lines, have some movements, have some sporadic movements, play with pattern A and B, have them do certain stuff together. Just go nuts, go crazy, have a good time. But yeah, it comes with a lot of really cool preset patterns. This is awesome. Now please enjoy a demo of the lights in auto mode so you can see some of the different beams and styles. All right, it's time to tell you what I think about this laser. I think that this laser is awesome. It is really bright and it's able to provide a nice effect for large halls. It creates a really cool dance party ambiance, like an EDM festival, right? What EDM festival is there that doesn't have lots and lots of lasers? So you're able to recreate lots of those like effects for under 300 bucks. And that is incredible. It has a bunch of nice and desirable laser style effects. It has some really cool scans. I really like it. I think that the one thing about this laser is that it's hard to use lasers in the US and you have to have haze to really be able to get the full effect of the laser. If you can't have haze or a fog machine, there's really no point in having it. But when the conditions are right and you're able to use this laser safely, not shining in people's eyes, this is an awesome effect and you get a lot of value for under 300 bucks. So what are your thoughts on this laser? Is this a pretty cool laser or what? Have you tried it? Let me know down in the comments below. And please smash like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.